This all started when a photo was uploaded showing Blackpink's Rosé and actor Kang Dong-won, but it wasn't dating rumors. The former chief creative officer of Burberry recently shared photos of a gathering that included the two previously mentioned names. Now, from the looks of it, this tweet in particular may have been the thing that instigated drug rumors, suggesting they look high in the photo, with people now piling on claiming that there's drugs seen on the table. Well, wherever the allegations stem from, YG has now come out stating the rumors are clearly false and that they will take legal action against those trying to defame Rosé. The original uploaded photo has since been taken down. Stray Kids Felix also recently responded to a certain clip. A video was recently uploaded on Stray Kids' Instagram account of Felix talking, in French by the way, about them headlining Lollapalooza in France this year which we talked about previously. However, one of the things that stood out most to fans was that his skin complexion did not seem natural for him at all and looked more like a filter. Upon fans claiming that the clip was quote overly whitewashed, Felix himself then uploaded what seems to be the original video on Bubble as his skin tone looks more natural and akin to what we've seen before. Super bold of Felix to expose how drastically they changed the initial upload and you guys know someone else who definitely isn't afraid to speak their mind is idol Soyeon. For those who aren't watching, Soyeon is a mentor for Fantasy Boys, the all boys version of My Teenage Girls which of course she was also involved with. Well, during one of the early episodes, after trainee Moon Jae Young's evaluation performance, it seems as though she criticized his mindset and attitude going into this, after telling her he can't do certain things, this clip actually garnered a lot of attention for his reactions to her critique, like laughing and seemingly not taking things seriously, but so did the video he recently uploaded titled, The Current Status of Fantasy Boys Moon Jae Young, Criticized by Jun So Yeon. Not only did people find him mentioning So Yeon in the title that way distasteful and disrespectful, him calling her Jun So Yeon in the video itself without any kind of formality to his mental or senior definitely rub people the wrong way. So much so that the backlash seemed to have resulted in him now at least removing her name from the title. While we didn't get a verbal response from him or Soyeon at the time of this recording, Ravi has now apologized and announced his departure from VIX. As we previously talked about, Ravi was one of the people accused of evading military service by using an illegal broker to attain a false medical diagnosis. In his statement, Ravi explained that at the time, he was the only artist in the label earning profit, his contract was being postponed or delayed due to COVID, and with fear of contract cancellation charges he would have to pay, he was desperate to delay his enlistment, resulting in a quote, foolish decision. Once the contract issues were resolved, he voluntarily registered for public service last year. Ravi ultimately apologized to those who have epilepsy, their families, those who are diligently carrying out their duties, and everyone else who was hurt. Him leaving VIX was a decision made to not cause any further damage to the team. This isn't completely over as prosecution is seeking two years in prison for Ravi, while his attorney appealed to the court for leniency in consideration of his career as he's also responsible for a company and its employees. Finally, two huge groups who have just made a comeback may now both be a member down. Kepler's agency stated that Chaehyun recently suffered an ankle injury during one of her schedules and is now wearing a cast and utilizing crutches to walk. However, she's not completely out of their promotions as she'll be performing in a chair when possible possible, while other schedules and shows are subject to change and evaluation. Ive, on the other hand, won't be joined by Ray for any activities in the foreseeable future. While Ray did join the girls at the photo op during their comeback showcase, she was no longer present for the rest of the event due to quote, her worsening condition. The announcement of her absence from just the showcase then turned into an announcement that Ray will now be halting all activities after experiencing abnormal conditions including heart palpitations that we saw NCT's Hechan recently return from. On the bright side, Ray did put out a handwritten letter for fans, and hopefully she gets all the time she needs to completely recover. But onto my favorite part where we can celebrate the positive things happening in K-pop. First of all, not only did Big Bang's Taeyang announce his solo comeback, but the Black Label- oh man, it feels so weird to say that after over a decade of saying YG Entertainment. Anyway, Taeyang's new company confirmed that Blackpink's Lisa will indeed feature on his Down to Earth album. I've been waiting so long for this since his last solo, since he and listed in the military, by the way, from which Day6's Young K just got discharged and even hopped on a live stream right away to speak with fans. Speaking of coming back, it's been a crazy few days of releases since the last video. From Cards first in 10 months, Dream Note, Cheon, finally the official solo debut of Yeun, the debut of girl group Exin, who have one of the only Indian members in the industry, and of course Ive who made their triumphant return, already setting milestones even on their first day. Something 
something that 50-50 have been no strangers to lately, now appearing in Times Square, achieving a milestone only accompanied by new jeans and black pink. Think about that. And on the rookie boy group side of things, Psykers, KQ's first boy group since 80s, become one of the fastest boy groups to debut on the Billboard 200 only two weeks into their debut. Finally, many of you know that NCT Mark's latest song, Golden Hour, all started with a fan who sent Gordon Ramsay a picture of Mark's eggs, to which he then tells them to go back on Tinder. Yo, to to whoever, I, don't, I forgot your name, but um, to the person, to the fan that really started all of this for Golden Hour, the person who, who sent that tweet to, to Gordon Ramsay in the first place years ago. Shout out to that person. Well, we now got something that was not on my 2023 K-pop bingo card. Cook you up. Dying more. Me in the kitchen with diamond rings. 